Derbyshire moved 26 points clear at the top of the LV County Championship second division table after recording their fourth win from seven games and their second in two to be won inside three days as they beat Essex by 10 wickets in Chelmsford. Essex were looking to O.A. Shah to impress as play commenced on the third morning with the home side on 46 for two and trailing by 95 runs. The former England man looked in special form too as he produced a whole array of shots to fill his side with confidence. He and Mark Patini, who came together at 3 for 2, now took their side to 73 for 2. There were still 68 runs adrift when Patini on 27 was caught at slip by Wes Durston, the ball somehow ending up in his hands from an attempted pull shot off David Wainwright. Wainwright also bowled Ben Folks for three before Shah completed an excellent 50 off 96 balls and then continued to flourish. He brought both his form and weather back from India. He has a unique way of playing but it is a very effective one as Wainwright found out as he was deposited for a six. Shah needed to be at the crease as his side took the lead but 14 runs before they did he was out. It was an extraordinary dismissal too, as somehow he was bowled by Durston for 75. It was a massive wicket for Derbyshire, who could now smell victory once again. However, the match was not over by any means yet, and their former player Greg Smith and James Foster combined to take their side ahead. Now they needed to build a big partnership to put the pressure right back onto their opposition. The pair kept the bowlers at bay for 15 overs in adding 43. But that just wasn't enough. So Essex were effectively 29 for 6 when Smith was legged before to Tony Palladino for 17. Wainwright then had David Masters caught off a big full toss by a running John Clare. And Tom Craddock was run out as Foster tried to shield him from the strike. Ross Whiteley provided the throw which left Essex reeling on 191 for 8 just 50 runs ahead. We then saw something rather remarkable as Foster scored all the remaining runs. His partnership with Tymon Mills was worth 39 as Foster started dealing mostly in sixes. He was making it fairly obvious from his stance where he intended on hitting the ball, but Derbyshire still had no answer to him. All he needed was for Mills to stick it out at the other end, something he managed to do for the 16 balls he had to face in the 37 minutes he was at the crease. He was eventually strangled down the leg side by Tim Grunewald before the innings was ended by Palladino who found the right length to have Foster LBW just four short of his 100. Essex were all out for 234 to leave Derbyshire a target of just 94. And as they'd done in their last game against Glamorgan, they chased the runs down in a rush to have an additional day off. There can't be many better overseas players than Martin Guptill right now. He was immediately into his stride, hitting two immense sixes off Charles Willoughby. Guptill works well at the top of the order with the homegrown Paul Borrington, who is a far more defensive-minded batsman but can also play his shots. While many opening partnerships have struggled this season, these two have put in some handy performances, just one of the reasons why Derbyshire are going so well this summer. Guptill smashed a third six on his way to another very entertaining half-century. He took 19 runs off one over from Craddock to pass his 50 off only 42 balls. With the likes of him and Durston in the lineup, Derbyshire may be worth a look at in the forthcoming T20 competition as well. Guptill's time at Derbyshire will end after that competition and on this form he will be missed. By the end of this innings he'd hit 537 championship runs in 12 knocks with two 50s and two hundreds. Only Ramnaresh Sarwan has scored more runs in the second division this year. Derbyshire raced to their target from only 18 overs. Another excellent display from them and a great way to celebrate Carl Cricken's year in charge as coach. There has been quite a turnaround in the team which is now oozing with confidence. It was left to Borrington to hit the winning runs. So Derbyshire won by 10 wickets with Borrington on 30 and Guptill making 66 from only 52 deliveries. The 22 points gain puts them 26 points clear of Kent in the second division table and 36 clear of third place Yorkshire who do have a game in hand. Essex are now 25 points off second place. A first defeat of the season for them earned them only three points.